Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about when plans don't go the way you thought they would. So I'm Daniel Norton, I'm a photographer here in New York, I make videos like this about philosophy, photography, about technique, about when things don't go right, like we're about to talk about. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe, and let's talk. So today, I was going to shoot a video, I had an idea about talking about shooting um, from different perspectives, and I was going to fly my drone and uh, talk about it, and... I did start to do it, but it got really windy. So um, we're going to hopefully do that tomorrow. So look forward to that one. I wonder that happens. Because um, I'd done it once before. I don't know if you guys saw it. I think I may have made it uh, unlisted now. But uh, I did a quick test, and I was able to fly the drone. Actually, I live-streamed it, but I, I'm trying to do a more recorded video. Uh, and it's kind of fun, right? And I think when you look at things um, differently, it can change the way you look. We'll talk about that tomorrow, though. Anyways, um, this is what, I mean, <laughs> I guess in this case, you see what I did here. Uh, this is one of those things that happens to us a lot as photographers, right? We go in with a plan. So I'm going to go make a beauty shot. And then, uh, you know, so I could, I'll tell you a story. So I was shooting for this magazine. Uh, this is now a while back. And it was kind of a, a very cool kind of artsy magazine. We had basically a studio, the whole thing planned out. And it was pretty, pretty like we had knew what we wanted to do. Like it was, it was like pretty set. Uh, we had a good plan of going into it. We went there, and then the model that we really wanted the morning of, the agency called me, and they said, oh, she's got something wrong with her eye, and her eye is like bright red, uh, you know, in color. And, uh, you know, and I was like, well, is it swollen? Is she, is, can she see? And they're like, yeah, it's like blood vessels or whatever. It just, And, you know, I was like, okay, well, I really want this model for this. So I was like, all right, let's just do it. And we basically just switched up the shots to either uh, have her mostly have her looking in the other direction, or we, this is back in the days of film, or we shot uh, film, and we shot black and white film on some of the shots where she was looking more that way, and we kept a little shadow over there so you wouldn't see the veins and stuff. But in the end, you know, the viewers who would see this stuff didn't see the issue that we had because we overcame it. We had to think about what our situation was, and even though we had some plans that we didn't get to do exactly what we wanted, um, we were able to still make it work because we just kind of thought, well, what can we do with what we have? And that's kind of the core of what we do as photographers, I think. We go in, you know, whether you kind of have a plan or not. I mean, if you know you're going to shoot a headshot, you might not, like, write down a plan. But you have an idea. I mean, you've shot a headshot before. You have a pretty good idea of how you want to do it. But then you get there and stuff doesn't work out. This can really be uh, an issue um, when you rely too much on locations or uh, lighting being there for you. So, for instance, let's say you're going to shoot somebody. You're like, you go into an office building. You're like, oh, you know, to scout... You're like, oh, this conference room is great. It has, you know, big windows uh, with north light coming in all day, so it's nice and soft light. I can actually probably just use the natural light. The light in here is beautiful. This will be really nice and easy. And then you get there, and the day that you're going to go shoot, it's raining, you know, uh, or snowing or whatever, or things go later, and the light changes, and it's darker. And now you basically have to deal with it. And, and you've already told them and shown them images of the big flat north light. You can't whip out your little speed light or some little softbox and create that because you had these huge window banks. So what do you do? You know, you have to think about how to create that. So when you go into that situation, for instance, if you went in there and scouted that job and saw that this was an opportunity, you should also be thinking at the same time, okay, what if I can't use that light, but they still want these kind of shots? How would I do that? And start to actually um, plan that. You know, and if this is a commercial gig and if you're able to do it, which you should be able to, um, factor that into your budget. You don't have to say, because if you go to the client and say, well, I'm going to have all this extra gear just in case, they're probably going to go, oh, don't worry about it. You know, just put it in there, like figure out a way to get it into the budget where it's just part of your normal equipment budget. You're going to bring flashes, even if you might not use them or whatever you just had to do with it, because you, you know, when you get there, you can't like give the excuse like, oh, well, you said don't worry about it. So now all the pictures are terrible and they can't come out and you have to schedule another day and these people aren't going to be here that day. That's That doesn't work that way. As I talked about many times, the way that you uh, keep working as a commercial photographer is to deliver no matter what. So you want to definitely have backup plans. I mean, you don't have to go crazy, but you want to have at least a backup plan and also be kind of light on your feet if things happen and you want to change it up because the opposite is true. You could have planned on lighting it and when you got in there, it's beautiful light and you look out and it's a cloudless day and you'll have only have two hours to shoot and you can see the sun's not going to change that much and it's beautiful. You might just say, hey, this looks beautiful. Let's just use this light and they would be fine with that, you know, as long as it looks the way they want. So you can, you know, you want to be flexible. You know, you want to have... 
uh, the ability to be flexible, but you also want to plan a little bit so that you can still deliver at least, uh, when I say plan a little bit, plan like a backup a little bit, because you want to be able to make sure you can still deliver even if the initial idea doesn't come out. So that's why we always bring backup gear, like extra cameras. That's why we bring, you know, backup lights. That's why we bring lights that we don't think we need, you know, but to a certain extent, you don't want to just bring everything in your closet, as I've talked about before. You want to kind of think about it. And all this together just comes with time and patience and, you know, experience. You'll get better and better at it. Um, but it's just something to think about. Even when you're doing test shoots, you know, and you're just starting and you're shooting your friends, think about it like a job. The more you start thinking that way, the better it'll be when you actually start taking commercial gigs, if that's something that you're looking to do. So let me know, guys, do this. What do you guys, do you have a backup plan, like a standard backup plan? Have you ever been in a situation where you had to have a backup plan and you were ready and prepared? Or people love horror stories, vice versa. You didn't have a backup plan because it was like, no, we're doing it this way. And then, boom, didn't work. Um, so you have to compromise or improvise or reshoot it or whatever. Let me know in the comments. You know, let's talk about this a little bit because I think it's kind of an interesting subject that we all deal with, whether we're doing this for money or for fun. Things always come up. So hopefully uh, we'll get a, a, a drone shoot tomorrow and, you go, and we'll get to fly the drone and we'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and uh, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.